Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to take our first look at the 2021 season for PC Replay Baseball as we travel the Twilight Zone. It's the 2021 New York Mets and Jacob deGrom taking on the 1978 New York Yankees. The Gator, Ron Guidry. Play ball. I will be managing the 2021 New York Mets. Let's get to the starting lineups. Ball game being played at Yankee Stadium. Leading off, playing center field for the Mets, Brandon Nemo. At shortstop, batting second, Francisco Lindor. Pete Alonso bats third. He'll play first base. Kevin Pillar is in left. The cleanup hitter, Michael Conforto, bats fifth, will play right field. Jonathan Villar at second base, bats sixth. J.D. Davis is the designated hitter. James McCann does the catching while batting eighth. Batting ninth, playing third base, Jeff McNeil. For the 1978 New York Yankees, leading off, in center field, Mickey Rivers, batting second, playing second, Willie Randolph. Reggie Jackson bats third, he's in right field. Thurman Munson, the cleanup hitter, does the catching. Greg Nettles mans the hot corner for the 78 Yankees, bats fifth. Sweet Lou Pinella bats sixth, plays left field. Chris Shambliss at first, bats seventh. Roy White is the designated hitter. Bucky Dent bats ninth and will play shortstop. To Yankee Stadium we go. DeGrom, Guidry, up next on the channel. It's a great day for baseball. For PC Replay Baseball, in the infield, Shambliss Randolph to the right, Dent Nettles to the left. In the outfield, Pinella left, Rivers center, Jackson right, doing the catching Thurman Munson. In the infield, you see this too on Chris Shambliss. You want a lower number in the infield. So you see Nettles, that's the range number. 62 is the error. The higher the error number, the better. Behind the plate, you want your catcher's range to be higher, just like in the outfield. Munson's a 5, 3 arm, 34 error. So that's how that goes. Just a quick explanation. The batter and pitcher's card interact as you'll add the, say if it's 1, and it's a roll of a 1 and a 1. Three run ones in a row, it would be an 11 for Brandon Nemo as you add the two together. The columns one and two favor the pitcher. The better the pitcher, the better the result for the pitcher. Columns three and six favor the batter. The better the batter, the better the possible result. Column four is infield defense. The better defender, the better the result could be. And column five is pitcher's control. The better the pitcher when it comes to control, the better the result will be for the pitcher. That being said, let's play ball. So Ron Guidry on the mound in 1978, 25-3 with a 1.74 ERA, whip .95. Brandon Nemo steps to the plate, 292 with eight homers. Munson sets the target, the pitch from the Gator, to Brandon Nemo, ball game on its way. And that's a swing and a miss. The Gators starts off the game in style. One out for Francisco Lindor. The Mets shortstop batted 230 with 20 home runs. Switch hitter batting righty. Gidry rocks and deals to Lindor. That's a 12. And he lines out to Chris Shambliss. He hit it on the screws right at Shambliss. Two up, two down. Pete Alonzo, power-hitting first baseman for the New York Mets. 
in 2021. 37 homers, 262 batting average. On deck, Kevin Pillar. Gidry nods his head. The windup and the pitch to Pete Alonso. Alonso swinging a miss. Gidry strikes out two. We go to the bottom of the first. Scoreless here at Yankee Stadium. Due up four. The 1978 New York Yankees, Rivers, Randolph, and Jackson. Mick the Quick, Rivers, 265 in 1978, with, a, with 11 home runs and 25 stolen bases. Jacob deGrom, an injury-plagued season, was 7-2 for the Mets, with a 1.08 ERA, whip .55. We're going to play our corners in to protect against the bunt. The pitch from DeGrom to Rivers. McCann behind the plate. Alonzo and Villar on the right side. McNeil and Lindor on the left side in the infield. Pilar's in left. Nemo's in center. Conforto in right. The pitch to Mickey Rivers. That is a swing and a miss. DeGrom blows away. Make the quick one out. Willie Randolph steps to the place. Plate, 279 with three homers in 1978. McCann sets the target. Here's the pitch from DeGrom. That's another strikeout. Two up, two down via the K. He got him swinging. Can DeGrom strike out the side? He'll have to go through Reginald Martinez Jackson. Reggie Jackson, 274 with 27 homers for the 1978 World Series champion Yankees. McCann wiggles the fingers. DeGrom nods his head. The windup and the pitch to Jackson. Jackson sends that high and deep and gone. Reggie Jackson goes bippity boppity boom to the moon to right center field. Boom goes the ball and Reggie Jackson touches them all. 1-0, 1978 New York Mets. Uh, New York Yankees, excuse me. So Jackson goes yard to the moon, Alice, to the moon. Jackson comes out, takes a curtain call from the fans here in the Bronx. Thurman Munson, the Yankee captain and catcher, steps to the plate, right-handed batter. DeGrom tries to regroup. Munson batted 297 with six homers. The pitch to Munson. That Munson's going to get a hold of this one. Possible home run. It will be a single, though. Munson singles to center. So after DeGrom strikes out Rivers and Randolph, Jackson homers. Munson singles to center. Two outs. Inning stays alive for Greg Nettles. Nettles, 27 homers, 276 batting average. The pitch to Nettles. Nemo on the run. Can he make the catch to end the inning? Goes into the dive, and he makes the catch. Right center field. Nice job by Brandon Nemo. The Yankees do get one on the Jackson bippity-boppity-boom. Top of the second, one nothing Yankees. Due up for the 2021 Mets. Kevin Pillar, Michael Conforto, and Villar. Kevin Pillar, 231 with 15 homers. Right-handed stick to face Gidry. Here's the pitch from the Gator. Ground ball to Bucky Dent. Dent has it over to Shambliss. One out. That'll bring up Michael Conforto. Left-hand batting right fielder. 232 with 14 homers. Gidry pure death on lefties. The pitch to Conforto. Conforto makes contact. Slaps it back to Gidry. Gidry throws to Shambliss. Two down. Base is empty for Jonathan Villar. Switch hitter batting righty. Villar had 18 homers with a 249 batting average and 14 stolen bases. Gidry nods his head. Louisiana Lightning's ready. Pitch homeward bound to Jonathan Villar. Villar swings out of the zone. Taps it towards third. Nettles charges. Throws to Shambliss. 1-2-3. Go the Mets. Bottom of the second. 1-0. 1978 Yankees. Due up for the Yanks, Pinella, Shambliss, and White to face Jacob DeGrom. 
the pitch to Sweet Lou Pinella with a 314 batting average. Pinella lines out to a leaping Lindor at short. Excellent play by Francisco Lindor. One out base is empty. Chris Shambliss, left hand batting first baseman for the 78 Yankees, 274 with 12 homers. McCann sets up inside. DeGrom deals. That ball is hit to Alonzo. Tosses to DeGrom. Two down. Alonzo started to go to the bag, then flipped it to DeGrom. Base is empty. Two outs for the switch hitting designated hitter Roy White. White with eight homers and a 269 batting average for the 1978 New York Yankees. DeGrom shakes off McCann. He rocks and deals to White. Ball hit to Lindor. It's going to be a tough play. Ken Lindor bobbles it, picks it up, fires to Alonzo. Alonzo scoops it out of the dirt. The side is retired. One, two, three, go the Yankees. We go to the top of the third. one nothing. 1978 Yankees over the 21 New York Mets. For the Mets, it will be the designated hitter, J.D. Davis, McCann, and the top of the order, Brandon Nemo. Gidry's ready to work. Pitch homeward bound to J.D. Davis. Davis had a 285 batting average. Swing and a miss. No contact there. That was a nasty breaking pitch. Ron Gidry has now struck out three New York Metropolitans. That'll bring up the number eight batter, the catcher, right-hander, James McCann. McCann with 10 homers, 232 batting average. Munson goes through the sign, sets the target, the pitch to his counterpart, James McCann. McCann sends it out to left. Pinella on the move. Can he make the play towards the line? Goes into the dive, and he makes an outstanding diving catch. Robbing McCann of a hit. Two outs, the number nine batter, Jeff McNeil, 251 with seven homers. Gidry looks for another one, two, three inning. The Gator rocks and deals to McNeil. McNeil swings out of the zone, grounds it to Nettles, across the diamond to Shambliss, one, two, three, go the Mets. Bottom of the third, one nothing, 78 Yankees. Due up for the Bronx Bombers of 1978, Bucky Dent, then the top of the order, Mickey Rivers, Willie Randolph. Bucky Dent, 243 with five homers. Righty, righty matchup. McCann wiggles the fingers. DeGrom nods his head. He rocks and deals to Dent. Dent chops it down to McNeil, who throws to first. Alonzo with the stretch. Bang, bang, play. And Dent beats it out. Oh, Bucky Dent infield hit. That'll bring up Mickey Rivers. Corners will play in. The pitch to make the quick. He struck out his first time up. We're going to check the Jacob DeGrom's control. It will not be a walk. Good job by Jacob DeGrom. It's lower than a five. Two balls on Mick the Quick. The pitch to Rivers. Infield playing for two. Fly ball to left. Pilar is there. Makes the catch. Dent retreats back to first. One out, one on for Willie Randolph. He was a strikeout victim in the first. Mets hoping to turn two. DeGrom looks to first. Now in at the plate. Slide step to Willie Randolph. Will it be? It is. Randolph thought he had a walk. Steps back in the batter's box now. DeGrom deals quickly to Willie. And that's a walk. So DeGrom having a little control issues here. Dent goes to second. Randolph to first with the free pass. That will bring up Reginald Martinez Jackson. He homered off DeGrom in the first inning. The pitch to Mr. October. Jackson! Swing and a miss. DeGrom blows the fastball high and away. 
right by Reggie Jackson. DeGrom has now struck out three, two outs, two on for the Yankee captain and catcher Thurman Munson. Munson singled his first time up. DeGrom takes a deep breath. He rocks and deals to Munson. Munson has another possibility to grip and rip here, jumping on that fastball. He will single once again. He singles to left. Will Dent score? Dent scores. Randolph goes to third. 2-0 Yankees. Clutch hit with two outs by the Yankee captain, Thurman Munson. Runners on the corners for Greg Nettles. Nettles looks for a clutch two-out hit here. DeGrom has a word with McCann. McCann back behind the plate. Here's the pitch to Nettles. Swing and a miss. Go sit down. But the Yankees plate another. We go to the top of the fourth, the 1978 Yankees 2, the New York Metropolitans of 2021, nothing. Ron Guidry has struck out three so far. Due up for the Mets, the top of the lineup, Nemo, Lindor, and Alonzo. Nemo was a strikeout victim. Guidry is ready to work. The pitch to Brandon Nemo. That's another strikeout. Nasty pitch down and in. Fourth strikeout for Louisiana Lightning. He deals quickly to Francisco Lindor, who lined out to Shambliss. That's a chopper to Dent. It's going to be a tough play. Can Dent make it? He should. He's a pretty good... De oh! He bobbles it! 54 defender, and he rolls a 65. Mets will take that. First base runner for the New York Mets. And he reaches on an error. By Bucky Dent. Pete Alonzo could tie it up with a bippity boppity boom. Guidry mowed him down in his first at bat. The pitch to big Pete Alonzo. Yankees playing for two. Pete smacks it towards Willie Randolph. Randolph, can he make the play? Yes, he will. As he pivots and fires to Dent for the force out of Lindor. Two outs. Alonzo reaches on the fielder's choice. Kevin Pilar is 0 for 1. The pitch to Pilar. Pilar will be 0 for 2 as he flies out to Reggie Jackson. Side is retired. The error does not hurt. We go to the bottom of the fourth. The 1978 Yankees 2, the 2021 New York Metropolitans nothing. To ground back up on the bump. He will face Pinella, Shambliss, and White. Sweet Lou 0 for 1 with a lineup. Here's the pitch from Jacob DeGrom. That's a strikeout. Beautiful, beautiful fastball. Lots of movement down and away. Jacob DeGrom has now struck out five Yankees. Here's Chris Shambliss, grounded out to DeGrom. Shambliss digs in the left-hander's batter's box. DeGrom nods his head. The leg kick and the delivery to Shambliss. Shambliss. Chops it to Villar. Villar should make this play, and he does as he flips to Alonzo. Two away. Roy White, the designated hitter, switch hitter, batting lefty. He's 0 for 1 with a ground out. DeGrom looking for a 1 2 3 inning to keep this a two run deficit. Takes a deep breath. Arms down to his chest. The windup and the pitch to Roy White. White swings, grounds it. To Alonzo, who flips to DeGrom, covering the bag. One, two, three, go the Yankees. Top of the fifth, two, nothing, New York. Joining us here in the Bronx, Steeler fan 1933, our good friend Matt. Hope all is well. For the Mets, Conforto, Villar, and Davis to face Ron Guidry. Guidry has yet to give up a hit. The pitch to Michael Conforto. Conforto works a walk. Second Met base runner. Possible wild pitch here. Can Munson block it? It depends on Guidry. It is past Munson. Munson does his best, but the ball, the curveball, bounced way in front of the plate. Conforto scampers to second. Conforto is an A stealer. Wow. We're not going to steal with Villar at the plate. He had 18 homers. Gidry peeks over his shoulder.
We're going to swing away with Villar. Randolph cheats towards the bag. Now the pitch homeward bound to Jonathan Villar. Villar looking for a power column. Swing and a miss. Gidry blows the Louisiana Lightning right by Jonathan Villar. One out for J.D. Davis. 0 for 1 with a strikeout. The pitch to J.D. Davis. Davis swings out of the zone. No, he held up. Oh, wow. Thurman Munson is going insane. They call ball four. Munson thought he had strike three on the 3-2 count. Davis to first. Conforto at second. One out. Go ahead run at the plate. And the catcher, James McCann. Nurse Teresa and myself were doing quite well. Thank you very much, Steeler Fan 1933, our good friend Matt. McCann flew out to Pinella in left. Yankees hoping to turn two in the infield. Here's the pitch from Gidry to James McCann. McCann swing and a miss. Gidry just blows the fastball right by him, challenging McCann. Two outs, two on. Runners will be off on contact. Jeff McNeil, lefty-lefty matchup. I'm almost tempted to pinch hit for McNeil. Seven homers, 251. We're going to let him swing the stick. Gidry takes a deep breath. The windup and the pitch from the Gator. McNeil swings. Grounds it back to Gidry, who throws the shambles. The side is retired. The Mets strand two. The walks don't hurt. Bottom of the fifth, 2 0, 1978 Yankees. For the Bronx Bombers, Dent, Rivers, Randolph. World's Worst Gamers joined us, Hope Ball as well. He says, Hello, Al. Heck of a pitching matchup. Yes, it is. Bucky Dent singled his first time up. Infield variety. The pitch to Dent. The ground pours it in. Dent swings. And that's going to be an out. That was fielded by Alonzo. The ground getting quite a workout. Running over to cover first. One out, top of the order. Mick the quick. 0 for 2 with a strikeout. The pitch to Rivers. Rivers swings out of the zone. Lazy fly ball to right. Conforto's there. Two down. Base is empty for Willie Randolph. Yankee second baseman has struck out and walked. The ground rubs up the baseball. Now back up on the hill. Toes the rubber. He rocks and deals to Randolph. Randolph lines it right at Villar. Second baseman makes the play. Side retired. We go to the top of the six. 2 nothing Yankees. Due up for the 2021 New York Mets. Top of the order. Gidry still throwing a no-hitter against us. Nemo, Lindor, and Alonzo. The pitch to Brandon Nemo. He struck out twice. He's going to strike out for it. No! He held up! Yes! He held up! Oh, Nelly! Another walk by Gidry. He has struck out six, walked three. Francisco Lindor steps to the plate, lined out to first and reached on the error by his counterpart, Bucky Dent. The pitch to Lindor. He had 20 homers in 2021. Can he connect? That's a ground ball to Nettles. It's going to be a tough play. Nettles charges. Can he make it? He's a pretty good fielder. He will not make the play. Another error on the Yankees' left side of the infield. No outs. Nemo to second. Lindor at first, thanks to the error. By Greg Nettles. Pete Alonzo with one swing of the stick. Could put the Mets ahead. Alonzo digs in. He is struck out and grounded to second. Gidry, not happy with his infield defense. Looks in at Munson, who's not happy with the infield defense. Munson pounds the mitt. Gives Gidry that look. It's me and you, buddy. The pitch to Pete Alonzo. Alonzo swings. That ball is hit to Randolph. Off his glove! Nemo scores from second. Pete Alonzo gets the first hit off Gidry. And the first ribby. The Mets have cut the lead to one. Willie Randolph went into the dive. It went off his glove into right. Still no outs. Lindor 
at second. Alonzo at first. 2-1 Yankees. Kevin Pilar is 0 for 2. The pitch to Pilar. Pilar pops it up. Right side. Shambliss calls for it. One out. That'll bring up Michael Conforto. Lefty-lefty matchup. Can Conforto take it out towards right? That's a short right field porch. Munson sets up inside against the lefty Conforto. The pitch from Guidry. Conforto has a chance here. He's going to fight off this inside pitch, but it's going to go the other way. Racing in is Pinella, and he makes the catch. Quickly retreating back to second is Lindor. Alonzo to first. 2-1, two, two outs, two on. Jonathan Villar steps to the plate. He's 0 for 2. A ground out and a strikeout. The pitch to Villar. Guidry pours it in. Swing and a miss! Munson points at Guidry. Bottom of the six, 2-1 Yankees. DeGrom coming up on possible fatigue here, unfortunately. We'll face Jackson, Munson, and Nettles. Reggie Jackson homered off DeGrom in his first at-bat in the first, then struck out. Here's the pitch to Mr. October. Swing and a miss! Strikeout number six for Jacob DeGrom. He deals quickly to Munson, who's two for two with a ribby. Both hits a single. And Munson is three for three. Munson has singled on three fastballs. DeGrom still cannot get Munson out. DeGrom showing a bit fatigue here. Oh, God. Nettles. We're gonna DeGrom's going after Nettles. And he got him! Yes! DeGrom digging in, strikes out Nettles, two outs. That's his seventh K. Sweet Lou Pinella comes to the plate. Pinella's lined out to short and struck out. 0 for 2 for Sweet Lou. Munson at first, two outs. DeGrom takes a deep breath. This could be his last batter of the ball game. The pitch homeward bound to Sweet Lou Pinella. Pinella singles to left. Munson goes 90 feet and stops. And that's it. DeGrom's coming out, unfortunately. 2-1 game. We're going to go lefty-lefty. Um... Aaron Loop. We're bringing in Aaron Loop. Here comes Aaron Loop. Six and zero with a point nine five ERA WHIP. Point nine four. Loop deals to Shambliss. Two outs, two on, two one Yankees. Oh Nelly, that is a hit to left. Munson hits third. They're going to wave him as it's a double for Shambliss. Aaron Loop does not do his J-O-B as he throws up a can of soup. And Shambliss doubles to left. 3-1 Yankees. And it might be a triple. Holy crap. Nope, stays a double. Ugh, wow. Aaron, you didn't do your job. We wanted you to get one guy out. Loop to white. That's a fly out to left. The side is retired, but the Yankees get a huge insurance run on the Shambliss double. We go to the top of the 7-3-1 New York. DeGrom can only lose it now or get a no decision. Guidry will face J.D. Davis, McCann, and McNeil. Davis, 0 for 1, a walk and a strikeout. Here's the pitch from the Gator. Davis swings out of the zone, chops it to Randolph, who flips to Shambliss, one down. James McCann is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. The pitch to McCann. Swing and a miss. Gidry 
challenges him with a fastball, blows it right by him. Guidry's now struck out eight. Two outs, base is empty. Lefty lefty matchup. McNeil, he's 0 for 2 with two ground outs. Infield outfield straight away in normal. Munson goes through the sides. Ron Guidry nods his head. The lanky lefty sends it homeward bound to McNeil. Swing and a miss. Side is retired. Nine K's for Louisiana Lightning. Bottom of the seventh. 3-1 Yankees. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever go back for its root. Root, root for your Yankees. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Aaron Loop will face Dent, Rivers, and Randolph. Bucky Dent's one for two with a single. The pitch from Loop to Dent. Dent grounds it to Villar. Throws to first, one out. Here's Mick the Quick. Mickey Rivers is 0 for 3. Strikeout and two flyouts. Lefty, lefty matchup. McCann sets the target. The pitch to Mickey Rivers. Lines out to Lindor at short. Two down. Base is empty for Willie Randolph. Loop looking for the 1 2 3 inning. He deals to Willie. Randolph, deep fly ball to left. Pilar at the track. He's there. The Yankees are retired. Top of the eighth. 1978 Yankees three. The 2021 New York Metropolitans one. Guidry will face the top of the order. Nemo, Lindor, Alonzo. Dave Gardner's here. Mark Jones is here. Steeler fan 1933 and world's worst gamer. I greatly appreciate all your time. Mark Jones says, is, five, is a 5 rating for Munson a, a bad rating? No. You're, that's his defensive range. It's excellent. In the infield, Mark, you want low range numbers. 1, 2, 2, 2. It's ironic that both Nettles and Dent, that's range though. That's range. So for Munson, Mark, no, no. For PC Replay Baseball, the catcher number, you want it to be high, just like in the outfield. That's how it was explained to me. In the infield, you want the low number for range. His arm is a three. His defensive his defensive um, error rating is a 34, so not so good. Yeah, yeah, I was confused with that too, uh, World's Worst Gamer. I forgot who the catcher was, and I said, that can't be right. When I first got this game, I go, he was a really good defensive catcher. The catcher, and then we'll get back to the game. The catcher range here, okay, you want this to be a high number like the outfield. I don't know why. I'm just telling you. His arm is a three, so that's like average. That's what I thought. Two World's Worst Gamers. World's Worst Gamer says, damn, I thought it worked like the infield. So did I. I and when, again, when I first got this game, it had to be a Red Sox game, to be honest with you. It probably was Fisk, and I was looking at it going, I don't think he I don't think he was... Now, here's the thing. Me, personally, I mean, you, you want this, and again, to me, the error, he's about mediocre when it comes to his error, and his arm is average. Um, sometimes you're better off having a guy with not as good range in the infield, but a higher number so he doesn't commit the error. But you're right, world's worst gamer. Outfield, you want the higher range number, which are the numbers in you know surrounded by blue. Infield, you want the lower range number. And the pitcher, you want the lower range number too. But the catcher, you want the higher range number. And I was just like World's Worst Gamer. My thought, and I, I forgot who I asked. I said, because I said, that doesn't make sense. You know, that doesn't make sense. Um, but that's the way it was explained to me. All right. We're down by two, top of the eighth. I'm managing the Mets. DeGrom's out of the game. 
Let's quickly just go to the box score if you're just joining us. DeGrom went five and two-thirds innings, six hits, three runs. Aaron Loop let the inherited runners score. Uh, walked one, struck out seven. Gidry so far, seven innings, one run, one hit off the bat of Pete Alonzo. He knocked it past the dive of Willie Randolph. It went off Randolph's glove into right. He's walked three, struck out nine. Back to the game. Yeah, I think the error rating um, is more important at times, especially late in the game. But um, when I play a lot of the 46 Red Sox in the year, in their 40s, 50s collection, which I really enjoy. I sometimes will switch a guy out. He'll have horrible range, but I'd rather get the guy. I'd rather get the guy with the better error rating. All right, here's the pitch to Brandon Nemo. We need base runners. Gidry rocks and deals to Nemo. Rare play. We want a three or a five to get a real rare play. It's a five. Okay, it's going to be a rare play. 34. Looping line drive to right. Jackson defensive rating higher number. Yes. Jackson goes into a dive or stumbles over his own feet. Nemo ends up at second. Yes, we needed that. Yes, yes, yes. Tying run comes to the plate in Francisco Lindor. He's lined out and reached on two errors, one by Dent and one by Nettles. We'll take an error here. The pitch to Lindor from Guidry. That's a ball hit to Nettles. It's off his glove! Nemo! Goes to third and holds. Oh, wow. Nettles goes for the dive on the hard hit ball to his right. Off his glove into left. Nemo didn't have a good read on it, obviously. First and third. No outs for Pete Alonzo. Come on, Pete. Alonzo had a hit his last time up. That was the first hit off Gidry. And it knocked in the only Mets run. If Alonzo goes yard, the Mets take the lead. Munson goes out to the mound. Shambliss and Nettles meet him there. There is a discussion. I know. Tony Porter from C&D TV. Check out that wonderful channel. Nettles with two errors. No, one error. One error. Yeah, one error. The other one was off his glove. Here's the pitch to Pete Alonzo. Fly. That's a strikeout, actually. We don't even get the sack fly. Because Gidry's a strikeout pitcher. Had he not been a strikeout pitcher, it would have been a sack fly. We needed that. So one out. Runners still on the corners. Oh, boy. Kevin Pilar. The pitch to Pilar. Chopper to Nettles. This is going to be a double play. And there's the inning. Nettles comes back. Quickly sends it to Randolph, who pivots and fires to Shambliss. 5-4-3. The Mets blow a huge opportunity. We go to the bottom of the eighth, 3 1 Yankees. Loop is tired. Let's take Loop out. Uh, and this is just a one off game. Uh, Rich Hill. I want to let. They got Jackson, Munson, Nettles. Lucchese, 1.17. He's not good, though. Click on lineup. Here comes Lucchese. His job is to get Jackson. Joey Lucchese. 1 and 4, 4.46 ERA, whip 1.17. The pitch to Jackson, who homered off DeGrom in the first, then DeGrom struck him out twice. Pitch homeward bound, that's a strikeout. Yes! So Joey Lucchese sends down Jackson. That's his third K. He's not going to pitch to Munson now. We go back to the pen. We're going to go with Diaz. 
So here comes Diaz to get these final two outs. Munson is three for three with all three hits are singles, and he had an RBI. Sox Arizona has joined us. Check out that wonderful channel, especially with baseball coming up, and it's here for all your Red Sox needs. Sox Arizona does a fun call of the Red Sox game, interacts well with the chat. And you might even find me there on occasions because I enjoy Sox Arizona's channel. And he has a radio, yeah, not a radio, he listens to music also. You got to tell me how you do that. I got flagged for singing last year for singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game because I had the music in the background. I don't know. Yeah, I'm curious how you do I'm happy how you do it. I see other people doing that too. I guess you have to put up some type of legal thing saying blah, 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 and it's okay. I guess. I don't know. Here's the pitch to Munson from Edwin Diaz. Five and six with 32 saves. Pitch homeward bound. That ball's hit to McNeil. He should throw this to Alonzo, and he does. Hesitated, but then threw a strike to Alonzo. Two away. Base is empty for Greg Nettles. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. The pitch to Nettles from Diaz. Nettles chops it to Villar. Villar flips to Alonzo. We go to the top of the ninth. 3 1 Yankees. Yankees making a defensive substitution. Paul Blair will come into right field. Reggie Jackson goes out. Tomlinson goes into left field. Lou Pinella is out. Sports Time Machine has joined us. Hope all is well. Check out that wonderful channel. It's Conforto, Villar, and Davis. Conforto, 0 for 2 with a walk. 14 homers. We're going to let him hit. We don't really have anyone better on the bench. Oh, we have Dominic. He's a lefty, too, though, Dominic Smith. Baez is a righty. You know what? Baez is going to pinch hit for Conforto. Here comes Baez. Javier Baez. 265 with 31 homers. Why didn't I play Baez? That's my faux pas. Here's the pitch to Baez. Oh, that's gone! Yes! Oh! Javier Baez brings the Mets to within one. Why did I not play Baez? Why did I think he was a lefty? Javier Baez, first pitch he sees from Guidry, sends it out to left center. Kiss that one goodbye. Bippity boppity boom to the moon, Alice. Boom goes the ball, and Javier Baez touches them all three to two. Jonathan Villar looks to go back-to-back -back jacks. Yankees have some stirring in their bullpen. Okay, thank you. I was just curious. I get like I said, I got flag <laughs> I got flagged for singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game with the music in the background. Here's the pitch to Villar. See infield single. Possible throwing error on Dent. Throw the ball away. Throw the ball away, Bucky. Yes! Bucky Dent throws the ball away. <laughs> Tying run at second. And that's it for Gidry. Here comes Goose Gossage, the angry one, with his Fu Manchu. Gossage in 78. 10 wins, 11 losses, 27 saves, 2.01 ERA, 1.09 whip. J.D. Davis... Unbelievable. Shambliss is playing in. I, I I don't think any of these Mets can really bunt. For Hahas will look. Yeah, lots of pop outs, not many sacrifices. Let's not do that. Let's see if we want to pinch it for Davis. I think now we go Dominic Smith. I think we go Dominic Smith now. Uh, 
on base. 374. Uh, fly ball. Davis. He had five homers. It's a righty righty matchup. Smith had 11. We're going Dominic Smith to pinch hit for Davis now. As a pinch hit bat, pinch hitter bats from the opposite side, the pitcher, the relief pitcher, option is canceled. Haha, -ha, take that. Ooh, big moment here for Dominic Smith. 244th, 11 homers, tying run at second base in Villar. The pitch from Gossage to Smith, and he blows that fastball right by him. Swing and a miss. Mark Jones says WFAN Sports Radio is going to be calling for your dismissal for not playing Baez. Well, the hell with WFAN. Don Imus isn't on there, hasn't been on there in a long time. Actually, he's not around anymore. He passed away. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't play him. Well, he pinched it for a homer. Here's James McCann. One out, tying run at second. Gossage, the angry wind-up, and the delivery to James McCann. Swing and a miss! Oh, Gossage pumping that fastball, striking out Smith, and now McCann... Two outs. Valar will be off on contact. Jeff McNeil, last man standing. Gossage glares in at Munson. One Fu man chewed to the other. Munson sets the target. The pitch to Jeff McNeil. Can he be a hero? Swing and a miss! Gossage strikes out the side. Leaves the tying run stranded at second. The 1978 Yankees in a classic 3-2 over the 2021 Mets. Guidry gets the win. DeGrom, the tough luck loss. Gossage comes in the ninth and mows down Smith, McCann, and McNeil via the fastball strikeout. Swing and a miss. Guidry, player of the game. So that was our first look at Jacob DeGrom. The 2021 card, which is insane. Of course, it's not easy. Um, he's playing against the 78 Yankees. Let's go to the box score. That was a fun game. We almost pulled it off. 3-2. Um, Mets had five hits coming very late in the game. Brandon Nemo won for three with a run scored. One walk, two strikeouts. Lindor won for four. Alonzo 1 for 4 with a ribby. Pilar 0 for 4. Conforto 0 for 2 with a walk. Baez, the pinch hitter, homered off Guidry in the top of the ninth. And that was it for Guidry. Actually, I think it was after the hit off um, the infield hit, I think. Then Guidry left in the throwing error by Dent. Villar 1 for 4. Davis 0 for 2 with a walk and a strikeout. Smith struck out as a pinch hitter. McCann 0 for 4 with 3 Ks. McNeil 0 for 4 with 2 Ks. DeGrom pitched and not hit. Luke pitched and not hit. Lucchese pitched and not hit. And Diaz pitched and not hit because we had a DH for this one and done game. Mets 33 at bats, 2 runs, 5 hits, 2 ribbies, 3 walks, 13 strikeouts. Guidry got the last 3 of those. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Gossage got the last 3. Guidry got the first 10. For the 78 Yankees, Mickey Rivers 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Randolph 0 for 3 with a walk and a strikeout. Reggie Jackson 1 for 4. He had a home run, and he struck out three times. Paul Blair came in to play defense in the ninth in right field. Munson 3 for 4 with a run scored in a ribby. Outstanding day for the Yankee captain and catcher. Nettles had a horrible day. 0 for 4, struck out twice and committed an error in a diving attempt, the ball went off his glove into left. Pinello won for three with a strikeout. Tom Thomason came in to play defense in the ninth as Pinella came out of the game. Shambliss won for three with a ribby. Roy White 0 for three. Bucky Dent, two errors. 
one for three with the run scored. Gidry Gossage pitched and not hit. Uh, Yankees struck out eight times. Yankees turned the only double play of the game. Nettles, Randolph, Shambliss, and that was huge because they had runners on the corners with one out, couldn't knock in a run. Mets left seven runners on base. Mets were two for 13 with runners in scoring position. The Yankees left five runners on base. New York was two for five with runners in scoring position. DeGrom took the loss, five and two-thirds innings, six hits, three runs. They were all earned. Walked one, struck out seven, gave up the homer to Jackson. Uh, Aaron Loop came in, an inning and a third, one hit, allowed an inherent runner to score. That was a third run placed on the ground. Lucchese got Jackson out via the strikeout, and Diaz pitched the final two-thirds and got the outs. Gidry, with the win, went eight innings. Couldn't close the show, though. Five hits, two runs. They were both earned. Walked three, struck out ten. Goose Gossage came in and mowed down the Metropolitans. One, two, three, with the save. Player of the game, Ron Gidry. That was a fun game. And the first look at Jacob deGrom and the 2021 New York Mets. Exit out of here. And I will just show you the DeGrom card real quick. Teams. DeGrom. See all the ones there? That's really good. His, They're all ones. Column one, two, three. Column four is a fielding column, so that doesn't matter. Column five. Everything's a 1 until you get to a 6, and it's a 2. And most likely, it could be a strikeout. You see the K there? Column 6, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 with all Ks. So instead of flyouts, I think they're strikeouts. Unbelievable card for Jacob deGrom. Dave Garner says, can't sleep. Going to play some strat. <laughs> uh, I'm going to check out the games you did, Dave, tomorrow. Or actually today now. After I wake up to go to work. So I'd like to thank Dave Garner. Please check out his wonderful channel in Digital Dice. The new episode dropped today with Ron Juckett. Uh, World's Worst Gamer, thank you. Mark Jones, thank you. Steeler Fan 1933 thank you very much. Sox Arizona, check out that wonderful channel. For your Celtics and Red Sox game call needs. Does a wonderful job in the chat. Very knowledgeable. Sports Time Machine, our good friend Mr. Utah Mike, another fine content creator. C and D TV, Tony Porter, another fun card and dice baseball channel. Uh, I think we got everybody. Yes, we did. So thank you very much. I greatly appreciate your time. It was a fun game. We couldn't get the win for Jacob DeGrom. We tried. We couldn't. It was fun. We lost 3-2. to two. Health and happiness. Stay safe. Be smart. Treat people the way you want to be treated. God bless. I love you all. Greatly appreciate your time. If you like, hit the like button. That's always nice. And it, we all appreciate it as content creators. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, please do so. And if you do subscribe, hit the bell for notification when we go live. We do pretty much everything live. But you can also check out lots of videos on demand. Also check out the other wonderful content creators in the FOC. What's the FOC, you say? And how do I join the FOC? It's very easy. You subscribe. That you're an FOC. Friend of the channel, friend of the community. God bless. See you again soon. I love you.